What is up guys? I know you can't see me, but this is, okay, so if you guys want a budget 4K HDR television that's going to have nice blacks and bright colors and basically perform on par, according to ratings.com, perform on par with some of the $2,000 or even $3,000 TVs, this is your TV. This price comes in at this TV comes in at a price of $599 at Best Buy for the 55P605. That's the model number right here. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys for the 55P607. The only difference is the 55P605 has a remote that does not have the headphone plug-in and the headphones that come with it. That's the only difference about this TV, the 605 from the 607. The 607 has a Roku remote with, uh, it's a smart TV as well. Everything's the same except for the remote. So it has a, a headphone jack and then a little pair of, I don't know, like a two foot cable with headphones that come with it. So um, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see the initial quality of it. This is gonna be impressive. I've been, uh, I've been reviewing this TV or, or basically watching this TV on all the reviews and stuff and seeing how it performs and everything and it is blowing away the competition. Now normally I wouldn't go with, a, with an off-brand TV like a Hisense or a TCL or something like that. Normally I'll go with something like a Samsung or an LG. If you guys have been watching my videos, my Samsung in the past has broken. The main board went out of the TV. That's the TV that's back here on the wall right now, the 4K Curve, 50 inch, 49 inch. That TV, six months later, after getting the repair done, I am 14 days past warranty, and the main board went out again. And it's gonna be a $350 repair, so I said, screw you, Samsung. They don't even wanna cover me 14 days after the warranty, which I get it, it's 14 days after the warranty, but I dumped thousands and thousands of dollars into Samsung every year and they didn't want to help me out. So I'm going to start helping these smaller brands out. Uh, TCL, if you guys don't know them, they were not even on the market for roughly two or three years ago and now they're the fifth largest TV manufacturer in the world and quality wise as well. Climbing the, the scale pretty quickly and then also the um, Hisense, another brand, is also that's number four in the world. Uh, number three is Sony, number two is LG, and number one is Samsung. So let's go ahead. My table can barely support this TV. Let's go ahead and lay this thing down so we can pull the TV out. This is insane. This is a big TV. 55 inch 4K HDR wide color gamut. It uh, supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So it has both of the HDR color spaces. Um, let's see, contrast, 72 contrast control zones. It, it's a Roku TV, so it comes with Voodoo, Sling, Amazon Video, it's a smart TV, HBO Now, and Hulu, and Netflix, and it has the Roku platform. So, very impressive so far. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. If you guys wanna see me tearing down my old Samsung, and putting this one up and adjusting the settings and everything. Maybe I'll do a, a settings video um, and basically showing the overall quality of this TV and basically seeing how it performs. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Okay, we're gonna stand it up. Hopefully it doesn't slide on me. It might, it might slide, who knows? Hopefully not. <laughs> okay, come on, don't slide on me now. So that is your TV so far. It's pretty thin, let me tell you. Besides where you mount it to the wall. Let me turn it around here, let me show you. So, you guys can see it, that's how thin it is. I'll kind of turn it a little bit for you. Pretty thin up here, not too bad at all. And then where you mount it, it's got a 200 by 200 base amount. So this is going to be fun. How the hell am I going to get that up there? Well, I'll figure it out, don't worry. Anyways guys, leave a comment. This is my unboxing of the Roku uh, TCL Roku TV uh, 55P605 or 607, whichever you prefer. 
Uh, for me, it's, it's 50 bucks cheaper to go with the 605. I'm never gonna use that headphone jack because I use my Audio Technicas anyway. Anyways guys, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like down below. Also leave a comment on what you think TCL's net worth is within $5 million and I'll pin the top comment. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Stay frosty.